Hi folks, this is the Olimex Pick Kit 3, or Pick Hyphen Kit 3, from Olimex. I uh, got this from Amazon for 19.95. It is a completely functional, um, very well built Pick Kit 3 clone, which is, like I say, it's 19.95, which is half under half the price of the £47 plus you'll pay for a genuine micro, micro uh, sorry, microchip Pick Kit 3. Um, it's basically inside a parallel port um, connector shell it's, in, it's made inside a it's put inside a parallel port connector shell um, and I've broken the warranty seal on this one because I don't need the warranty because if it goes wrong I'll just buy another one so it's okay I sacrificed it for your viewing pleasure so here is the actual board um, I'll show you around the board you've got your two stages status LEDs at the front, either side of the ICSP header, one here and one here. In the middle you've got the uh, the pick which controls the, the device. Uh, it's a 24F. In a second it's going to focus. Or is it? Let's try again. The pick 24F J256 there we go. The good thing about this device, it has a power jack here, which the original doesn't. So you can power it in programmer to go to go mode um, from a power source. Um, now you have the headers here. Uh, let me get these metal tool and show you these two gold headers here. I presume that is for reprogramming your uh, firmware. Oh, there we go. Pick ICSP. That is the ICSP six pin of this pick here. So if the firmware goes wrong, you can reflash it using another pick kit or pick programmer device via ICSP. Um, this says E E P O M, I think. Let's have a look for the magnifier. I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know what that is at all. But that one there is pick ICSP, which is basically to reflash this. Um, yeah, it's a very well made part, very well made uh, programmer. You've got the programmer to go button there. Um, this is quite a strange situation here. You've got a USB, I think it's called a B connector, this one here, which is soldered straight onto the board, like that, and it sticks out on the board at a funny angle actually as well. This one was probably just one of a batch which has been soldered at a funny angle, but um, yeah, it's um, very well made. Uh, I'm not sure why this uh, they, they opted for this uh, larger standard USB B connector. When they could have bought a, uh, could have used a mini or a micro USB, and made it much more flush inside the casing. Um, this is how it goes inside the casing. Let me show you. What happens is, this end you've got a piece of laser cut metal, and it goes around like this, and then sits inside the shell like that. Oh no, sorry, that's wrong. Further out. There we go, like that. <clears throat> Make sure the polished, the, the brushed, um, shiny looking end uh, surface is outwards, not inwards, because the other side is just like rough laser cut. So that goes the other end. And then it slides in like that. I'll give you a close up once it's done so you can see where it goes there we go so there we have it that sits in there obviously you put the other half of the shell on top once you've finished uh, looking inside it I wouldn't recommend avoiding your warranty unless you want to because I've avoided my warranty so why not but if you want to be uh, if you if you worry about 20 quid um, 
don't void your warranty. But if you're not worried about a mere 20 quid, void your warranty, because I did. I mean, so what? Um, if people don't open these things, how's anyone ever going to see inside them? I mean, if it wasn't for people like me, how would you see inside stuff if we were scared of audio warranties? So, there's your status LEDs there, yellow and the tricolor LED, sorry, bicolor LED there, or tricolor LED there. Um, so, yeah, it sits in there like that. You see, you've got the metal uh, plates, brushed uh, steel plates. And then you clip the top back on again. If you do take it apart, just be careful. That's what I'm saying to you. So anyway, that's how this reassembles. Take it back apart again. Now, let me just show you my ICSP cable that came with it. This is the standard Olimex ICSP cable. It's quite a rigid, not rigid, but sort of not very flexible plastic cable. So it's not the most flexible cable in the world, but it's a good cable. At least it comes with one. I mean, the microchip one doesn't come with anything at all. It just comes the program and the USB cable, that's it. Uh, with this one, you have to buy your own USB, standard USB printer cable or USB A to B cable. But that's no problem. I've got loads of those hanging around. I'm sure most people have got one or two of those. You then plug that into there. If you get the right, yeah, that's it. That plugs in. Oops, sorry, my own on camera. That's the cable. That's a plug. That plugs in like that. When the camera's actually woken up and focused itself. There we go. That'll plug in like that. And then you're ready to go, you see. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look around the board a bit more. This is a pick hyphen kit three revision C. And it says, oh, there we are. The LED is active, you see. It's got the active label next to it. And the other one, um, oh, what's the other one to say? It says, ah, status, stat. There we go, status. And there's your URL there www.olimex.com forward slash dev um, you've got a 25LC 2561 uh, EEPROM there um, 47 mic 10 volt capacitor um, sorry about the um, they're not very professional are they um, huh. ok I'm not sure what these are I might get the light a bit lower to look at this. Sorry if it's too bright. I'm not sure what those little chips there are, little square ones. Um, the transistor or voltage regulator of some sort there. And let's try to get that in focus, shall we? Not quite sure. I can't see what that is now. I'll, I'll look at it on playback and put it in the notes. Um, on the underside, it has the Olimex logo. Let me just show you it without the lens. Without the lens, there we go. Olimex. It's ROHS compliant, as you can see. It says anti static uh, handling precautions. It's lead free. You see the a PB sign crossed out, that means lead free solder. Um, what does that say? Assembly 101. RP137, can you see that? Or RPI37. So yeah, that is the Olimex PIC PIC hyphen kit 3 um, by Olimex. That is the PIC kit 3 clone. Um, it's brilliant. It's really well made. I mean, it's it's fantastic. I mean, it's 1995. I mean, you can't beat that, surely. I mean, for, for like I say, a normal PIC kit 3 is uh, 47 pounds plus sometimes higher and um, this one's equally if not better built it's only got two LEDs um, whereas the pit kit 3 has got the genuine one has got three but the tricolor LED um, is two LEDs in one so oh, there's an inductor there look that green stripey thing 
So, um, what's this other chip next to the inductor actually? What's that? If I get the right angle. If I can get the right angle on the camera. Get the camera down nearer. What does that say? Can you see that? It looks like a microchip part. MCP 602I or E. Yes, yeah, an MCP 602I looks like. Um, so yeah, I would say oh, there's 12 megahertz crystal there. I would say the only thing about this is be careful with the USB connector because it could, if abused become loose or break off because it's quite it protrudes quite a way out from the board I would be careful with that but apart from that it's a great device really great I mean MP lab 8.92.00.00 which is basically MP lab 8.92 recognized it immediately and downloaded the right firmware for my pick which is a 16f628 great little board so now I'm going to show you put it back together again really worthwhile buying I would get it straight away it's 1995 free shipping. I mean, come on, you can't beat that. So let's put the ICSP, ICSP end plate on. Okay, and then put on the USB end, making sure you get the circle, the little hole here on the right over the programmer to go button. And then put that in there like that. I'm just going to go to uh, see which end. I like to get things the right way around. I don't like to get things wrong. So I want to make sure I can see which way around it goes in. Right, okay. So the ICSP header needs to be Two seconds, sorry guys. The ICSP header wants to be the end that has. Sorry, let me start again, sorry. With the Olimex logo the right way up, the ICSP header end is at the top, like that. You see, and the USB is at the bottom. So when you put it back together, make sure that's the right way around. So I then. Put that in there. Like that. Seat it. And then get the other half. And like I said before, make sure the Olimex logo is the right way up with the ICSP header pointing upwards. And then make sure the metal plates align into the uh, recesses at the end of the housing. It could be quite a fiddly job, it's not. It could be a fiddly if you get at the wrong angle. Anyway, so let's get on and do this because it's taking quite a long this time this video. So what I will do now is put the lid on. There we have it. Almost. Oops, all fell out. <laughs> it all fell out. <laughs> what a bodge. Right, let's do it again. What? Uh, see, it shows I'm filming it live, you see, because you never predict what's going to happen. I don't mean live, I mean... I don't want to record it all over again. So, now that's back in. Ease, <coughs> excuse me, ease the top cover on. Gently. Gently does it. There we go. It's all back together again. You see these clasps, these plastic clasps? They just clip shut. You see very carefully here, you can see the glue. That's my warranty label, which is now in the bin. See, so I did it all for you. So there you go, guys. That's the Olimex Pick hyphen Kit 3. You see the wonky connector, but it works a treat. So, highly recommended, and thank you for watching, and God bless you. Thank you. Bye bye.